Welcome to Good Food and Tours Jamaica. And today we're making rap bun, one of the easiest Jamaican snacks you can ever make. And it's going to be totally delicious. So come on, let's do this right now. We're going to start out with our flour. And I'm going to add a little bit of oats. And then now I'm going to add some coconut milk powder. Flavor it up in now. <laughs> then I'm going to move in with some baking powder. Just to rise it up, but not too much. Just a little bit of baking soda. And now some ginger powder, some cinnamon. And this is not baking powder. I store my nutmeg in it. <laughs> in the jar. I'm going to take out my nutmeg and just grate that in flavor you know this is well spiced now after grating nutmeg i use around half of the nutmeg i'm going to grate in some real ginger this is one of the flavor boosters putting that ginger in it and just mix it all around oh yeah i need to add some sugar mm. And I need to go ahead and just mix this really good from the top to bottom. Make sure everything is incorporated. Now I'm going to add in some raisins that I was soaking in some water. I'm going to add in some chopped chocolate. This is like one of the cheapest chocolates on the shelf. So I just want to spice up my wrap bun. Make it a little bit more modern. And I'm going to throw in some chocolate chunks, right? Now I'm going to mix this around again and as I mix I'm smelling all of those spices that we added in. Mm. Now in a separate bowl I'm going to crack two eggs. The eggs are never spoiled, thank you God. Add in some vanilla. Oof. And add in just a little bit of vegetable oil. Just four tablespoons of vegetable oil. Most rock bun recipe calls for adding butter. We're using vegetable oil. So this is a little bit different. We're going to whisk that together. And then after it's good, we're just going to go ahead and just pour it right into the center. But we have to make a hole first, right? Make a little well. Pour it in. And then now we're going to slowly just mix that around. So easy, right? Just throw everything into a bowl, add your liquid, and keep going. Now I'm going to reach for some water, just a little bit of water, and just slowly let it come together. Mix until it comes together. Now, when it comes to the water, we add just a little bit at a time, right? We do not want to put too much water, and we're going to just mix. Now the consistency of this butter, it should come out like a sticky dough, right? And this is the last amount of water I'm adding. I'm adding no more. Uh, but it should not be like a runny cake butter. You just want it sticky. You want it to have some spiky, spiky, juky, juky. <laughs> you want it rough to look like a rock. That is why we call it rock bone, right? So after everything is mixed good, top up a bottom and bottom up a top. <laughs> We're going to oil our surface that we'll be baking it on. So I'm using cake tin or <laughs> I'm using muffin tin, but cake tin, right? So I'm just going to grease my muffin tin and just measure out how much I add in each muffin or cupcake thing. Right, so I use around two to three tablespoons per wrap bun. We are going to bake this for 30 to 35 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, take them out, let them cool for 10 minutes. Then you can pop them out and taste it, right? You can taste one, but you still need to let them cool a little bit more. I, I couldn't wait until it cooled completely. Wow. Just look at that. Mm, that's a chunk of the chocolate. Mm. Now I'm just going to pop them all out. So I waited for 10 minutes until it was cool that I can touch it right. Then I'm going to place them on my baking rock to ensure that it finished cooling off before I package them. 
and this is how you make one of the easiest Jamaican snacks ever and it's so delicious and full of flavor with real grated ginger coconut flavor spices <gasps> Reason chocolate chunks. Thanks for watching and please subscribe, like, and stay tuned for more videos like this. Mm. Yum, 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 yum. Look at that. It's so perfect, right? Mm. Oh my gosh, I'm smelling all of that spices that we used. Look at that chocolate chunk. I'm smelling the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the freshly grated nutmeg. Oh my god. Previously on Good Food and Tours Jamaica, we made skelly and chicken. So you can check it out. It's one of the last videos we produced. Coming up next. Oh, this it tastes really good enough. You know? <laughs> Coming up next, we'll be making a sham. So stay tuned. Keep watching the channel to see all of these interesting videos we bring.